Wednesday morning, folks. That's Dylan Scott. Nobody here at Sunny 101.9 getting real close to 830, which means it's talk time at DC at B again, Dakota College at Botno. And this morning we are fortunate enough. To, we, we have we have drug him out of bed this morning and we are going to be talking with the athletic director at the college, Mr. Corey Gorder. Good morning, sir. Morning, Dylan. How are you? I'm great this morning. Um, I, I know that um, uh, as we're, as we're peeking outside, it doesn't seem like it's you know the middle of winter. It doesn't feel like the 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 middle to the end of January, but here it is. And I mean, I know it's going to start getting colder a little uh, later on this month, but uh, with the changing of the seasons and the changing of the semesters, we have a new sports season to uh, think about at the college. And I guess my my biggest question. Here is, uh, what are we doing about attendance for the games at the college? Obviously, we can't have 100% because of the, the virus, but what are we doing? Yeah, absolutely. No, here, you know, and at the college, we're all back here and ready to go. We have uh, all seven sports that are going to be going here this semester, which will bring some uh, additional challenges. I mean, in addition to just trying to figure out how we can do all this stuff and have fans um, with our five five of our seven sports, so all the sports minus hockey are part of the Mondac. Um, uh-huh. And they have some rules that are set up in regards to the COVID policies that we have to follow. Um, one of the, uh, I don't want to even say the recommendation because it wasn't really a recommendation. <laughs> it was, hey, this is what we're doing, uh, is 25% capacity that we can allow for our gym sports. So in our in the woodshed here up at the college, we're allowed to have 125 fans is the, is the maximum that we can have here. Um, okay. That committee with the Mondac meets on a weekly basis, but that's where we're at as far as, uh, like, in two days, I guess. We're opening up our season here for basketball on Friday. Um, so our wow. men's and women's team will be here on Friday, then on Sunday, um, and then again on Monday. We are here three, three out of four days in a row. So that being said, um, we are trying to take care of a couple groups prior to the community looking at – the parents and family of our players. Mm -hmm. So there will be tickets distributed to those folks and then our, our other students as well. So looking at taking care of our students that are on campus, trying to get them in here. So after we, after we subtract those things, I'm hoping that we're going to have, I don't know if it's 30, maybe it's 40 um, tickets that are available for community folks and kind of doing it on a first come first serve basis. They will Mm -hmm. be at, they will be up at the, uh, at the business office here at the college so right in Thatcher Hall, uh, when you come in to go to the gym, you just take a right before you go to the gym, and then uh, you can go up there if people are looking to get get tickets. I would I would throw it out there that I'd like to be able to see how many I can have. So I, I'm trying to get into students and players on Wednesday. So then those things would open up starting on Thursday morning prior to prior to the contest on Friday. Okay. All right. And you said 25%, which would make it about 125 people. And, and obviously that, that allows for, you know, the, the best in social distancing, things like that. Um, with the recently um, kind of reevaluated mask mandate with, uh, you know, only certain areas in the state still using that, are you still requiring masks on campus at, at, at these yeah. events or how does that work? Yeah, we are. Yeah, okay. we're, we're still requiring those things, you know, even prior to the whole mandate going in, we we took a stance. That's what we were trying to do, as far as in classrooms and those sort of things. So we're still we're still going to stay toward stay to that. Okay. Um, I guess <laughs> looking at from myself to Dr. Miguel uh looking to you know want, we want to continue to have as many fans here as we can. Sure. And as you know, people are abiding by those rules. Our students are, have been great up here. They're mm-hmm. um, you know they follow <laughs> they follow the guidance of everybody else and and they're wearing those things. So we're we're trying to keep those things going. Um, and just requiring them to to continue to have those uh, masks on when they're here and then try to social distance as well as when we're staying in there. You know, there's going to be some little changes as far as, like, the front row. Um, we, aren't, we aren't allowed to have spectators in the front row above the, above the players. Um, you know, reason being it's too close. Uh, sure. Um, so we're, we're just trying to do some of those things. So we're going to ask people to respect some of those uh, blocked off areas as well. I mean, it's just it's been a whole different year, obviously. And it's, you know, our athletics are going to look different up here at the college, even versus the high school, I think. Um, mm-hmm. But we have to follow some of those rules as far as the conference goes, too. So, and, and then it's, it's far, I don't know if you want me to jump into hockey or if you want me to wait. Yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah. Jump in. This, this okay. is your time, bud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, we'll jump right into hockey as well. Our men's hockey team was uh, on here this past weekend um, in Botno, and, and we will be here. Our women's team will be opening up for the first game that they can actually have fans. 
Um, so our women's okay. team plays NDSU this weekend on Saturday evening and Sunday, and then our men's team plays Sunday night in Botno as well here at the Lumberdome. So um, with, with fans there, uh, we're allowed to have 350 spectators there, so no tickets are needed um, to get into those games at the, at the community arena. Okay. Okay. That that's great. That that's great to hear. And so so tell me about the uh, the women's hockey team. How's 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 that going? It's been going really good. Um, it's obviously been challenging, and it's been a, a tough for a oh. year, year to start a program. <laughs> of but, course, but yeah. It's been going fairly well. I mean, as long as they can, I mean, our young ladies are here, and they can practice, and they can go hard, and they can do those things. It's just the struggle has been uh, maintaining some of the games and trying to keep <laughs> to keep a schedule as normal as it can be with. Uh, there's not many teams. Um, usually there's about 200 women's Division II teams that we could play against, and the list as of a couple of weeks ago was six that were playing for sure. Wow. Um, and then there's a bunch of other ones that are maybes. So um, our, our new head coach, Reed Laux, has been working hard to try to put together, even if we can meet certain teams in the middle, so that we can at least play somebody other than Fargo and, and Minot State. Um, right, so, wow. So it's uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but... But they've been a great addition to have on campus as far as um, students, you know, academically as, as well as um, athletes on campus. It's just been it's been a good atmosphere this year. Uh, it, it sounds like it's almost trying to put like a schedule together for the Canadian professional hockey teams with only seven <laughs> to choose from, and you got to they can't come here and we can't go there, so we got to yeah exactly. until That's the playoffs. Exactly what it's like <laughs> wow. without the budget. Well, right, budget, yes, so. <laughs> without the budget, that's right. So, uh, what 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 is the uh, what does the upcoming schedule look like for for all for all the uh, events then? So, when, if we're looking at in in town here, uh, Friday night, there will be basketball, women at five thirty, and men after. Okay, uh, and then Saturday, women's hockey down at the arena in the evening. At I, I believe it's a seven or seven thirty puck drop. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, and then the following day. Sunday will be at noon. Women's hockey plays NDSU for, to finish up their home series. And mm-hmm. then basketball is in the afternoon at 2 and 4. And then our men's hockey team is at 7 on Sunday night against Jamestown. This? And, then again on, and then again on Monday, our men's wow. and women's basketball uh, are here in the woodshed. Okay. Again. So busy, uh, busy f- four days, I guess. But you know what? It should be well worth it. I mean, I'd love to get up there and see some of that exciting college action. And... Uh, well, we, even with, even with the uh, the new standards and kind of a, you know I hate to say the words new normal, but it sounds like we can get some some uh, some fans in the stands. Yeah, the new you know the two phrases I kind of chuckle at new normal. That's one, and everything's fluid, right? Everything's changing. Oh, <laughs> so we, right. We, yeah, you know it's that that's the schedule I tell you as of today. Um, right. And we're doing the best that we can to play. Um, if there's a team that's quarantined that we're supposed to play and. Their men are quarantined, but their women aren't. We're still having the women's game. So there's, you know, I would just tell people to keep their eye on uh, any social media or on our website for any updates, and uh, we'll get them out to you guys out there as well. All right. Well, Corey, I know you're busy this morning, and we'll let you get back to doing your thing, and we'll get back to doing our thing. But but thank you so much for taking time this morning, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. You bet. And come back anytime. All right, bud? All right. Thanks. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate it. That is Corey Gorder, the athletic director at uh, Dakota College of Botno, talking about uh, kind of that new normal, if you will, 25% capacity at the at the woodshed and, you know, uh, tickets available for these games and things uh, going on this weekend. So, and kind of the upcoming schedule as well. So you got games uh, three out of the next four days. So uh, that's, that's exciting stuff. So uh, take that and uh, we'll come back with another seven-day forecast. It's right after this here on Sunny 101.9. Here on Sunny.